what's good guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Yannick so in today's video I want to speak to you guys about um, initiations rites of passage that we go through in life um, I want you to understand the purpose of opposition in your life the people who you perceive to be your ops the people who trigger you the most the people who challenge you the most I want you to understand that this is life way of taking you through initiations and rites of passages to overcome these obstacles, to overcome these people, to overcome these triggers, to overcome these demons and to be your best self, you know, to level you up, to take you to a new level. And every level you get to, there will be a new devil. So, you know, in this video, I'm just going to delve a little bit into identify, you know, when life is actually taking you through initiation and all initiation is it's taking you back to the process of discovering who you are the process of mastering yourself the process of loving yourself you know as i've mentioned in other videos like you experience who you are through other people other people present themselves as your mirror um you know reflecting on you things from your subconscious mind things that's within you things that's not healed People come in your life in the forms of angels and demons, you know, so the, the devil and the God that they speak about is within man, it's, it's within the nature of man, it's within the consciousness of man based on kind of what vibration or frequency that you're on. And the people who come to be your opposition, the people who come to just poke you and trigger you and trigger you and anger you, you know, and you see them as your enemy and you're this and you're that, they're actually your help mate. They're actually sent to help to level you up into your Godhead and into your God body and into your God consciousness. So let's jump into this subject and get a little bit more deeper so you can understand what you're perceiving and not see yourself as a victim in this world and not see yourself as, you know, someone who's weak or someone's been attacked by someone or that people are your enemy. It's all about belief, it's all about perspective, it's all about perception, it's all about how you're seeing things, how you're seeing scenarios, how you're seeing people. And once you can figure out the highest perspective, you will get the best result for you, for your own self, for your own mastery, for your own level up, for your own rise. You see, when we're challenged by people, it makes us extremely uncomfortable. It makes us uncomfortable because human beings, we're creatures of habits. Um, and we live in a very habitual way, um, which is doesn't require much conscious thinking, you know. When someone come and trigger you now, they shock you and they wake, they awaken you. You're in a state now of how do you respond, fight, flight, freeze, you know. And that's the whole purpose of triggers, that's the whole purpose of ops. Because people have to trigger you to awaken you, you know, to awaken you to be present because we're very habitual in the way we go about living our daily lives. Um, when the challenges come along, it makes you uncomfortable. It puts you in a situation of what do I do? It makes you have, you have to think about it. You know, you have to be present with it. You have to be like, okay, how do I deal with this? How do I respond to this? And that's the whole purpose why there's challenges in life. If there, is, if there weren't challenges in life, people would be stagnant because once you're stagnant and you're comfortable, you will stay at that level. You will not grow. You have to be put in uncomfortable situation. You have to be put in discomfort to try and figure your way out of stuff. That's where your growth comes from, in the deepest and the darkest of pit, in the most uncomfortable situation. Instead of running away from it, lean into it because there's a level up in there for you. You know, if you think about um, like even video games and stuff, it's all about overcoming obstacles. Like think about Mario, one of my favorite games. It's all about you know, going through that level and overcoming all the obstacles and the demons and the things trying to kill you and everything coming for you. And once you overcome that, you move to the next level. Then you've got new devils to fight in that level. Then you move up, then you move up, then you move up till you've clocked the game and you've mastered it. Life is set up in a similar way. You know, on the other side of kind of uh, opposition or, you know, what perceived to be the bogeyman or what perceived to be bad people or demon is your level up. On the other side of that is the treasure. You have to fight the bad guys to get to the good. You have to understand that this realm is made of good and evil and demons are the guardian of power. You know, if you just think about everything in life, like you have to overcome something to gain something. And that's what life is. So when you're going through stuff, that's life initiating you. Those are rites of passage. You have to go through that to earn. And the thing is, when you've got a bigger purpose, 
expect life to just keep offending you because that's your training ground that's your training ground to get you to your your eyes to get you to your level up because the thing with with human beings is you can read the book you can say you're spiritual you can wave the sage you can wrap the hair you can preach all the gospel but until you're put in a situation where you're challenged until you're put in a situation where you're under extreme pressure you will not know what you're made out of you will not know you know how resilient you are you know these situations are there to test you so to test you to see if you're all that you profess to be because like i could say oh you know i'm a peaceful person i'm this i'm that I'm da -da 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 -da. and life present me with a situation where there's conflict or someone's challenging me or someone's poking me to to get a rise out of me and i react in a very aggressive or angry way then it proves that everything i said about myself was incorrect so that person came as a challenge to to show me me to show me that unique you say that you're peaceful but when you're triggered you actually don't respond in a very peaceful way you actually don't know how to navigate your triggers without being angry or without acting crazy that's the purpose of your ops that's the purpose of uh enemies or people who are challenging you they're there to show you who you are they're there to help you through your level up that's life way of initiating you that's your rites of passage back to yourself life is about stimuli and response stimuli means that it's everything that's out from the outside world and one thing life is full of is changes so life can be very unpredictable and you can change can just hit you from all direction you have no control over that you have no control over um i don't know going to the supermarket and someone just starts screaming at you for something stupid you have no control over that you have no, no control over someone road raging you and shouting at you or throwing something through their window at you that's stimuli you don't have control over that what you do have control over is how you respond to it and that's what life is about you know it's the same thing they say with karma you know you're not responsible for what people do but you're responsible for how you react and when you when these challenges come along that's life way of testing you to see how much mastery have you achieved you know, how much control do you have over yourself? You profess it all the time, but when you're actually in it, how are you actually responding? See, you should be thankful for people who come along and challenge you because they're your helpmate. They're actually sent to help you. And that's just the paradox of life. Life is a big mind, like it really is. When you think about stuff and to how you perceive it, but when you actually ascend on a higher perspective, or to a higher consciousness you realize it's not what it, you perceive it to be a lot of what gets into the way of life is the ego is who we think we are and, and that someone is opposite to you not knowing that everybody listen people talk about god people talk about this people talk about that about that but people have no idea in the beginning god took god and created god so everything in existence is of god the good the bad the ugly that's the reality so everything that comes to challenge you, the person who comes to challenge you, that's your messenger from God, come to kind of summon, you know, your energy or your life force to see how you've evolved, where you are in your evolution. Have you realized yet that this person is just a mirror reflection of you? Have you realized that you should just laugh? This is why I'm saying that you see a lot of people, they don't even understand the Bible. That's why like when they say, oh, Jesus ch turned the other cheek. This is what they're talking about. He knows what's up. He knows that, that him and that person, there's no separation. Separation is just the illusion. Everybody has the same consciousness streaming to them. Everybody's body is an avatar that's re receiving the frequency of consciousness and awareness and is um, streaming it based on their level of perception, belief, understanding. It's like, think about everybody is different radio station. So the frequency streaming through us, but we're all playing and singing different tunes and themes based on where we're on the spectrum of frequency of you know the, the supreme consciousness or your lower self you know demonic thoughts thought forms and you know some people somewhere in the middle so when you realize that all of it is of the one thing and all of it is really there to help you to realize who you are to level up to your godhead and to your god body you just start to laugh at life and just realize what a big joke and paradox it is and I know I say it and it sounds easier because we are programmed and we are conditioned um, into our sets of kind of reaction, uh, belief or, you know, how we respond to certain things. And when someone come and they probe us, we immediately give them that response. 
but that's the purpose of life you know you're going to consider this as like a, a a training ground to to go to go through kind of training and mastery to come to a level where when someone do come and poke you where it's going to trigger you you're composed you have control of yourself and you can respond how you want to respond and not how that person intend for you to respond and that's how you achieve mastery that's how you kind of go through your initiations and earn your level up and earn your stripes so you see these gurus they go up they go up they go up because they start to understand and the person who come and they're um, disgruntled and they're trying to you know trigger you when you can get to a level where you can look at that disgruntled person and not give them a rise you're on your way to mastery you're on your way to your rise you're on your way to your godhead your god consciousness it's like you can think of life like you know the harry potter movie where they go to that um, kind of school to learn how to use their magic and tap into their magic life is set up in the same way it's set up in the same way it's going to put you into situations um for you to try and figure your way out of it it's going to send people to trigger you it's going to send people with you know a demonic energy or you know angel energy to help you sometimes um it's set up that way it's set up that way for you to learn how to tap into your alchemy tap into your godhead and realize what this is rise above it you know and achieve your christ consciousness because that's that's essentially what um christ means it's a title that you achieve when you step into your christ consciousness it's when you're fully become the full embodiment of your god consciousness you know so that's what it is like everything that you see that you're going through all the challenges within your job in your family in your children in your relationships in your obstacles in everything you're coming across it's there because life is trying to initiate you life is trying to initiate you to rise life is trying to initiate you to level up now how you respond to that challenge determines if you overcome that level or you're gonna have to repeat it again and the lesson will keep repeating itself like that check my video out on karmic cycles and loop it will keep repeating itself until you learn it until mastery is achieved of that level then you jump to the next life is not going to skip levels because if it skip levels you won't know what to do if you jump from here to here you won't know how to operate up here if you don't know the steps you had to take to get through this one get through that one to then deal with these ones up here because new level new devil you know the challenges are going to get more hard it's just like a video game the higher you go in the level the more intense it gets and the greater your purpose is expect your challenges to be very complicated because if you think about it when you can navigate these and you overcome them you become so skilled you become so equipped this is why you you have people who become guru because you've gone through all of that yourself you can now help other people through the through those tough initiation process through those rites of passages so they can understand what they're going through and they don't see themselves as a victim of life because that's the worst kind of disposition to live your life from that life out oh, poor me i'm a victim and life is happening to me you have to understand that you are the created and the creator and you can command things in this realm at your will but first it takes understanding first it takes perspective first it takes knowledge it takes wisdom then it takes application you have to apply knowledge, you have to apply wisdom to enforce solutions. A lot of people are just spiritually asleep, you know, and the universe way of awaken you and shaken you, you know, out of your just, your sleep is to send someone to poke you, send someone to trigger you. When you become too stagnant, you know, too on a level where you're not moving, expect a little bit of shake up because life is like that's the whole purpose of life the whole purpose of life is to grow is to keep evolving um people don't understand this stuff because they've just been fed um the social construct oh you're here to have kids reproduce live happily ever after um and you know no challenge is going to come your way and this is why a lot of people you know their relationship won't work because people don't know how to navigate challenges um people just think that life is positive vibes only and it should be good at all way, all times, blah, blah, blah. So when the pressure comes and the challenges come, they don't know how to navigate their way out of it. So they end up breaking apart, get with someone else and meet the same challenges. You know, so life is about knowing how to skillfully navigate challenges, how to 
respond appropriately when you're triggered, how to step into your God consciousness so you can master levels and elevate, keep on elevating. Think about your chakra system. You know, people are naturally residing in the lower chakras. When you think about your root, your sacral, your solar plexus, those chakras deals with the carnal nature within man, you know, uh, the need to survive, to hunt, to kill, lust, sensualism, um, fornicating. It's the part of the brain that just drives in pure survival. So if you think about your chakra system, think about your lower, I don't know, three, like your basement level, you know, it's just about basic survival. Um, and survival even just means just even the need to just reproduce, um, the need to kill to eat, the need to hunt. Um, it's reactive, it's, it's not very conscious in its thought, it's just about its survival. Now, as you go up, it says it's like a, a house, as you go up the levels, and you start to embody the top three, your crown, your um, third eye, your throat, your heart space, the third, top four, sorry, your heart space, you start to kind of come into more of your God self, start to become more of the embodiment of your God consciousness. And you start to operate from a place of conscious thinking, a place of empathy, a place of seeing um, God within everything and seeing that you know, how this whole life is set up, that nothing's really against you, everything here is of the one thing, it's just a mirror reflection to show you who you are, to challenge you, to, to overcome yourself, to overcome your lower nature, to, you know, embody your kind of penthouse, you know, so even in Egyptian spiritual system, you will notice that they have deities, um, which has animal heads and human body, and what that's symbolic of, it's symbolic of the animal nature within man. There's part of the brain that's similar to part of brains of animal, which is just based purely on survival, purely on instinct. You notice animals, and I always say this, animals don't have a language, they don't have a communication. Everything is raw instincts for them. They know when there's danger, they know when there's fear. The birds know when to fly south, when to fly east. They know everything based on pure instincts. See, human has that within them as well. And the embodiment of that is within the lower nature, within the, the lower energy centers of the body, the lower chakras, right? Um, you know, so the reptilian brain within man, the animal spirit, the animal nature within man, it's just very reactive, it, it's not conscious, it's just about, you know, it's pure survival, that's all it's about. So, you know, people talk about a lot of different things, a lot of different belief systems, spiritual system, religion, a lot of deities and stuff, but everything is based on you, like, you're the embodiment of good and bad you're not just good you're not just bad the nature to do both is within you and you get the free will to choose you get the free will to fight the devil within you to overcome the lower nature and programming and condition within you step into your god body your god consciousness so the next time you're being triggered the next time you're going through something tough the next time you're experiencing hardship just know that life is set up like this Life is set up like an obstacle course. You have to overcome these things to be skilled, to be equipped, to pass these levels, to, to, to go to the next level, to be able to help, to reach back, help other people through. That's how life is set up. So nothing's truly against you. Everything is there as a tool for you to use to see who you are. Everything is about you. Your relationship with other people is about you. I always look at my relationship with other people, how I respond to other people, things they do that trigger me to learn myself better. And that's the reality. So the next time you're going through something tough and someone's challenging you or you're triggered, just know that this is an initiation. This is a rite of passage. You have to overcome that to move on to the next. And if you keep meeting the same experience, it means that you're not doing something right. You have to take a different approach. And more than likely, the approach, because we're all here to realize that we are God. You know, we're all here to realize that we're of the same consciousness, you know. So more than likely, you can't overcome that situation by running away from it or, you know, dealing with, with resent, hate, throwing back, you know, stones for stone. It's going to continue, it's going to continue, it's going to continue. That's what, that's what karmic cycles and karmic loops are. So to break that and to overcome that, you have to step, you have to, you know, delve deep into you. Um, you know within your God consciousness and just look at that person as I see what you're trying to do 
I see what you're trying to stimulate and trigger within me, but I'm going to overcome that within myself and I'm going to deal with you and respond to you in a different way. I'm going to deal with you and respond to you from my God consciousness. And that's how you level up. So next time you're going through stuff, don't see yourself as a victim in life. Nothing is set up here to really and truly harm you. Everything is set up here to help you with your rise. Everything is set up here to help you with your level up. So I hope that helped and I hope that made sense. Um, and I want you guys to check out my video on understanding karma, karmic cycles, karmic loops, um, karmic dispositions, how to karmic clear, you know, understanding spiritual wealth, spiritual bankruptcy. And I also want you to check out my, my video on energetic signature. I think these three videos will kind of kind of help you to understand better your own challenges in your life, your own karmic depths, the things you need to do to kind of level up the things you need to do to get to your next level and to overcome yourself because essentially you're not even trying to overcome situations or people it's all just self all you're dealing with is self everything is just a stimuli out there because everything is about how you're responding how you're seeing it and then how it's making you feel how you're reacting to it and once you can have control over that and change that you're on your on your way to your mastery you're on your way to your eyes so i hope this helped guys don't forget to like subscribe share this with someone who will enjoy my content run me up guys hit that like button like 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 see you in my next video guys take care peace and blessings